I posted a video the other day, this video. And a couple people were curious, what is this MIDI device? Who makes it? Where can I buy one? And what does it do? This isn't a review, this is just a shout out that these exist. And if you are into controlling MIDI in creative ways, this might be for you. Let's talk about it. There's a company called The MIDI Maker, and true to their name, they make MIDI controllers. And for everyone that was asking, what does this do? It does whatever you tell it to do. In that video specifically, I was using the Albarossi Dub Station by Audio Thing, and I had it mapped like this. So the track I was doing those drums on, the effect send that Albarossi Dub Station was on was mapped to fader one. Fader two was the amount of spring that was being applied to the dub delay, and slider three was feedback. So alternating between those three, you could create a very lively little dub drum sound. So that's really all I was doing in that video. Very simple, right? Looking at this one that I have, I wanna say that they are 3D printed. You can kind of see the grooves along the side where the 3D printer laid it in layer by layer. I am not particularly crazy about that texture that 3D printed things have, where you can just tell it was 3D printed. It's like a 3D printer makes something cool and then you see those little lines and it takes away some of the novelty. It's like, oh, okay, this was done with a 3D printer. Great, but that's not a problem here for me. I really don't care, I could care less. I actually kind of dig the 3D printed aspect of this because the circuitry is so fire and it's nice and sturdy. The USB cable on this one is one of these fatter, I think, what kind of USB is that? Maybe that's a USB mini A. I don't know. Whatever the case, that's the uh, type of USB it takes. These sliders are super legit. And if you compare them to the sliders on my MIDI mix, that's quite a difference. That's quite an upgrade. Now I'm not trying to replace my MIDI mix, but I am exploring alternative ways to control MIDI in my Ableton sets. This company, the MIDI Maker, is on some other shit. The stock that they have available on their website does seem to rotate around, depending on what they have ready to go. I got the Sparrow 5 by 100 millimeter MIDI controller, but you, you can see the potential that these devices have for your creative flow, right? They're minimalist. They look good. They're hefty. You can mix and match them any way you like. And you can do custom orders with these guys. That's right. Whatever crazy idea that you have for a MIDI controller of this type, you can tell them. And for a fee, they will just make it for you and send it to you. And if you go over to their Instagram, you'll see a myriad of interesting custom controllers that they have made for people. Let me just show you a couple of my faves. This one's cool. Not sure exactly what it's being used for, but it's a nice orange color, 10 channel mixer, two little buttons at the bottom, three knobs at the top. Maybe those are for EQing. Who the hell knows, but it looks beautiful. This one's really beautiful. It looks a little bit like a piano with the colorway. And do I spy a topping L30 Mark II in the background? I think I do. My friend, we are using the same headphone amplifier. We both rule. So yes, on their Instagram, they say that this MIDI controller with 16 faders was made for a composer. No name dropped, no account tagged, but a uh, composer now owns this beautiful MIDI device. And you know I'm pretty crazy about this setup because Homeboy's rocking three MIDI mixes with a bunch of tape laid out all over them, just super DIY'd. And if you've seen my MIDI mix video, which I hope you have because it's my most popular video by a very large margin, you'll know that I'm a sucker for customized MIDI mixes. And the mixer that they made him has 24 faders. So at that point, this is just impressive, if you ask me. So yeah, that's all for today. Just wanted everyone to know that that is what this is. It looks like a lot of fun because it is a lot of fun. You can't really go wrong here. It's so simple, you know? But yeah, if this is something you're into, definitely go check out the midimaker.com. Did not come with a cable. So make sure you have a USB cable and be well, be happy, be merry. I will catch you on the flippity flip.